Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about the effects of black seed oil, aka Nigella sativa, on inflammation and oxidative stress biomarkers. Nigella sativa is a plant commonly used in traditional medicine for its various health benefits. But does it really have a positive impact on our health or is it snake oil? That's a big question. To answer this question, Let's dive into the evidence and see what the human studies have to say about this. Before discussing the meta-analysis, I would like to briefly explain how inflammation and oxidative stress affect aging. Okay, let's start with inflammation and aging. It is well established in the longevity community that chronic inflammation plays a major role in the aging process. As we age, our immune system becomes less efficient at resolving inflammation, leading to a state of chronic low-grade inflammation throughout the body, also known as inflammaging. Okay? This chronic inflammation is associated with various age-related diseases, such as cardiovascular disease, cancer, neurodegenerative diseases, and many more. Two primary markers used to measure inflammation in the body are C-reactive protein, CRP for short, and tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNFA for short. Maintaining low levels of CRP and TNFA is a good sign that inflammation is in check. Chronic inflammation is so damaging that in January 2023 it was added as a new hallmark of aging. Finding ways to alleviate it is of crucial importance to healthy longevity. Now let's talk about oxidative stress and aging. Oxidative stress is a process that occurs in our bodies when there is an imbalance between the amount of harmful chemicals called free radicals, also known as reactive oxygen species, ROS for short, and the amount of substances that can neutralize them, known as antioxidants. As we age, the level of free radicals in our bodies increase, which can damage our cells and tissues. This damage can cause inflammation and trigger a cascade of processes that contribute to aging. For example, oxidative stress can impair the functioning of mitochondria, which are the energy producing organelles, little organ, little parts in our cells. Mitochondrial dysfunction can lead to a decreased energy production, cellular damage, and the release of more ROS, free radicals. Additionally, Oxidative stress can contribute to the accumulation of cellular damage, leading to a decline of various physical, physiological systems, and the development of age-related diseases. Therefore, managing oxidative stress levels is critical to maintaining a good, healthy, and slowing the aging process. Three major markers that measure oxidative stress in the body are malondaldehyde (MBA). For short, superoxide dismutase, SOD, and total antioxidant capacity, TAC for short. Low malondaldehyde levels and high superoxide dismutase and total antioxidant capacity levels are a sign that oxidative stress is under control. Now let's get into the metal analysis. The researchers conducted a metal analysis of randomized controlled trials to determine if black seed oil has anti-inflammatory properties. The systematic review consisted of the following. It included 630 people. Nine trials were double-blinded and one was single-blinded. The studies lasted between 6 and 48 weeks. The daily recommended doses of black seed and black seed oil varied between 1 and 3 grams daily. The studies were done on different groups of people with different medical conditions, such as type 2 diabetes, obesity, metabolic syndrome, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and ulcerative colitis. Now let's talk about the results. The results of the systematic review are very clear. Okay? The evidence supports the consumption of black seed or black seed oil, excuse me, to reduce CRP and TNFA. As mentioned earlier, both are major inflammation markers. Okay. The studies that were evaluated also suggest that black seed, Nigella sativa, 
significantly decreased levels of malondaldehyde, MDA, and increased superoxide dismutase and total antioxidant capacity, which, as mentioned earlier, are important markers used to measure oxidative stress. The findings also show that black sea oil is most effective at lowering TNFA when taken for eight weeks or longer, and that the oil is more potent than the powder form. In addition, the study suggests that an intake of less than 2 grams, that's about a half a teaspoon, of black seed oil is more effective at lowering CRP than taking more than 2 grams daily. In conclusion, it is evident from the meta-analysis of randomized controlled trials that black seed oil is not a snake oil, but a valuable natural remedy for fighting inflammation and oxidative stress markers. Chronic inflammation and oxidative stress are significant factors in the aging process and the development of age-related diseases. Therefore, managing their level is crucial to maintaining good health and slowing down the aging process. The study suggests that consuming Nigella sativa can help lower inflammation markers and optimize stress, oxidative stress markers making it a promising natural remedy for individuals seeking to improve their health. Although more research is required, the current findings suggest that people should consider adding black seed oil to their diet to fight inflammation and improve their overall health. I hope you found this video informative. Remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos on health and longevity. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy and see you soon in my next video. Bye.